Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Pali Freediver course, uh, its structure, its requirements and also how we teach it here at Crystal Freediving. And for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Sergey. I am a freediving instructor trainer and on this channel I'm sharing with all of you guys everything what I know about freediving. So if you're a beginner or intermediate freediver, consider to subscribe to this channel because you're going to find a lot of useful information. And today it's going to be Pali Freediver course. So it is the first step in the Pali Freediving educational system. And guys, if you need more information about how we teach Party Free Diver course, if you want to have more details, you can find the link to our website where there is more information about this course right in the description. So in other system it can be called differently, it can be called uh, level 1, it can be called uh, 2 stars course, or it can be wave 1, it uh, doesn't really matter, what does matter is the first step into the free diving. So normally this first level has uh, three parts, which is a theory, uh, swimming pool skills and open water skills. So when you are looking for a free diving course and you're choosing free diving course, doesn't matter where you are, in what country you are, uh, make sure that free diving course, which, is, which you're going to sign up for, have all three parts. Not two, not one, but all three of them, because all of them are really important and uh, I'm going to explain you why they're important. So we start from the theory. We do theory in our classroom, in our AC classroom, where students can sit comfortably and first of all watching free diving videos, where they see how the free diving looks like, uh, and then with their instructor they discuss all the aspects of the free diving. So free diver instructor gonna explain everything in details, uh, how the free diver looks like, what is the safety, what is the theory, etc., etc., etc. At at the end of this course. You're going to learn a lot of useful information and also you're going to do a final exam at the very end. But don't be too nervous about the final exam, it's not that difficult and everyone who listens carefully to their instructor can pass this exam, no problem. So what we also do on our theory part is practicing a lot of equalization skills, right? So right from the beginning, from the theory, from the step number one, we're explaining our students how to correctly equalize their ears and we do some exercises and actually we even giving some homework to practice their exercises, to practice their equalization skills. Because equalization is a huge part of free diving uh, when we're talking about open water, right? But if you want to be confident that your equalization skill is going to be okay on your free diving course, I highly recommend you to practice your equalization even before you sign up for free diving course. Or maybe when you sign up and let's say there are a few weeks ahead and then you have time practice these equalization skills. How equalization looks like, how you can practice it, there are a few videos online, I've done a few videos so you can find the videos in the links to these videos in the description and you can also find the link right here. So practice this exercise is definitely going to help you, it's definitely going to make your experience on your free diving course much better. part is a pool session and the pool session like I said is really really important step again when you're choosing the free diving school make sure your free diving school has a pool session and a pool session has uh, really important skills such as static dynamic safety skills and rescue skills why these skills are important let's say static static is the best way how to learn the breath hold let's say in the easiest way, because you're just going to hold your breath and try to relax, right? Obviously, it's better to start with this way. Why dynamic apnea is important? Because when you do dynamic apnea, you're learning how to be streamlined, how to correctly uh, keep your body, that your head needs to be in the correct position, your arms in the correct position, correct kicking is a huge part of the dynamic, etc., etc. So both static dynamic is really important. And more likely when you finish your free diving course and you're going to come back to your home city and if you hooked up with the free diving and you want to keep practicing, 
more likely you're going to practice in the pool. And this is why, obviously, it's really important to know how to do safety for each other and how to do rescue in a case of, uh, in a worst case scenario, right? So this is why this skill you need to learn with the free diving instructor, right? Because your free diving instructor is going to supervise you, correct you, give you some tips how to make your uh, technique better, how to make more safe your training, etc, etc. So this is why this part is really, really important. and all of our pools, by the way, we're practicing uh, this part in the pool because uh, it's possible also practicing these skills in the shallow water if uh, you don't have a pool. But like I said, we are lucky that we're not only having the uh, three, free uh, three pools, but also all of our pool have a deep part. And in deep part, we are able to practice so-called uh, depth skills, which is a free immersion and constant wave. Our pool is not that deep that we can actually dive uh, really deep, but it is from 3 to 3.5 meters and then we can uh, practice in the beginning of these skills, right? We're practicing with our students how to turn when you do free immersion or how to do a duck dive for the constant weight dives. Why are we practicing this? Because then when our students first time in the water, they are much more confident in the water, much more confident, because actually they don't do anything new, they're already practicing these skills in a pool, right? So they already learn how to uh, start their free immersion, they already learn how to do a duck dive. And the duck dive is a really complicated part of the uh, free diving course, right? Because people do these complicated skills for the first time ever, and if it is an open water, they're just a little bit more nervous. So practicing this skill in a pool has huge benefit. We started doing this. We started uh, doing this a few years ago, and it have huge positive effect. So the, also, we practicing in the pool our equalization skills. We practicing upside down equalization again. This is a helping our student to be more comfortable, more confident when we finally do our last step, which is the open water sessions. So we have a couple of open water sessions in Pine Free Diving course. Uh, first one is shallow, second one is a little bit deeper. And again, there, it is a pretty standard skill set. By the way, for the pool, we have a static, dynamic, uh, safety for static and dynamic, and rescue for both uh, static and dynamic. And for the open water session, we also have a pretty standard uh, skill set, which is a free immersion, constant weight, uh, how to do safety, and how to do rescue. Head first. Uh, if you are unlucky and then head first equalization doesn't work for you in the beginning, it's fine. You can practice feet first. It actually help. It help you to get more comfortable in the water. It help you to practice uh, friends and equalization in a more easy position because feet first position is just a little bit more natural for your equalization. But 
to certify you as a body free diver, of course you need to be able to dive feet, uh, head first. Why it is so important? Because if you are a certified free diver, you are first level certified free diver, then technically it allows you uh, to go to other schools, to any other schools in the world, and practicing free diving just with your body, right? Don't forget, free diving always should be practicing with the body if you do it in the water. And if you are a certified free diver, you can uh, go with some free diving school and practice it with your body. In our school, we also provide you a free diving instructor who is going to supervise you and who is going to help you. But in some schools, you can just train it with a body. And then if you are not able to dive head first, obviously, it's going to be impossible for you to do a safety for your body. So if you are such a person who couldn't dive at this moment uh, head first and only can dive feet first, it's not a big deal. Sooner or later, you're going to get there. Sooner or later, you're going to learn how to do it properly. But at this moment, you are not able to dive just with other free diver, like, I mean, two of you, right? Because you're not going to provide safety for your uh, free diver body. Okay, guys, this is uh, how a uh, party free diver course like, looks like in our school. We uh, do a three parts. Like I said, all parts are important. Theory is really important. We're practicing equalization uh, skills on this part. We're practicing a lot of pool skill set. Actually, we have a two pool session, not only one. So when we finish our pool session, our students much more confident uh, in their first open water sessions uh, session and then we do two open water sessions and if you done all the requirements then you are happy party free diver student and again don't worry if you couldn't finish it in a standard time so usually first level it was a two three days in our school we have a both option you can do it in a two days or in a three days but Again, we're all different and for some people maybe it requires a few days more, it's absolutely fine. So if you're going somewhere where you're planning to do your free diving course, uh, then maybe consider to have a couple of spare days. In this case, uh, there is a much more chances that you're going to pass this course successfully. Okay guys, this is it. This was a video about party free diving course. I hope this video was helpful if you are thinking uh, to do first level course or not. And if this video was helpful, don't forget to click the like button and I see you next time.